sell on the mic. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I was going to no, give him some water. That's fine. Uh, oh, yeah. You guys can talk about the slides all you guys want. For the time being. Here we go. All right, at time, we got Final Saga coming up in March. You know, it's not just Smash. We got Tekken. We got Dissidia. Yet again, this is the the first big saga of the year. You know, we just came off of Congo Saga. Congo Saga was super amazing. So Final Saga, all the Cloud players, Cloud hype. <laughs> Spargo, question mark? Spargo? Spargo? Yet again, we got... 2GG all in, the ultimate national Arcadian. Oh, uh, mid tier singles. Mid tier signals. Wait singles. a minute, what if you main a mid tier? Whoa. Oh. Oh. Ban, ban everybody that like has something. Ban. No no palus, no snakes. It's gonna be no, fantastic. No rats? Oh my god. It's like, gonna be fantastic. Characters could actually do their cool things and like, you know, not get punished for it, you know? Yeah, but then you have to also imagine that you. Uh, you T3 would be able to qualify for that because. Yes, you know, yes. Richter and you is Richter, Richter. Richter. Game and Watch is considered a mid tier also. Game and Watch is considered a mid tier? Game and Watch is considered a mid tier. Everybody says that Meister carries him, but they are. Con but yeah, it, he is considered. I mean, a I feel like mid tier signal, sing signals. Singles, they need a signal to show like what characters are legal and whatnot. Like yeah, they're, exactly. Like show us what tier list you are using, and then like as long as they can say, like, hey, we're using these characters, these characters are legal. As long as they give out like that information, I'd be cool with whatever they throw out. You know. Yeah, yeah. Two GG and SoCal are going to be making this mid tier tier list. So please stay tuned uh, for this fantastic national Arcadian. Uh, and I don't know, Arcadians—they're they're really cool. Yeah. And speaking of uh, Smash we're, tournaments, we're yeah. going to Momocon. Yeah. That's going to be held in Georgia yet again. Momocon is probably like. One of the bigger, like, S-tier tournaments of the year. Yep. You know, it's in May, right before EVO. So, yet again, if you want to go to a super major, right, before EVO, MobileCon is the tournament to go to. On top of that, since that's a huge con, you're able to just do so, so much more stuff outside of it. Like, you know, there's cosplaying, there's going to be artist alleys, there's going to be a lot of cool things. All right, and with that, we shall head into... Grand Finals, T3 Dome versus Elegant. Let's go, Grand Finals. These, both these players playing fantastic today. They just played in winners, finals. It was very, very close, but T3 Dome barely able to clutch that out in that game number like five. four. Yeah, five. yeah the, the game five. Yeah, it was game five. Yeah, yeah. And it's gonna be a lot of the same thing, just trying, Luigi trying to get in. And T3 Dome and Richter, in general, just keeping him out the whole time. Do you, do you think the person in Losers uh, has more momentum going into this? So it's like, at the beginning of the game, they're able to just play a lot better than the person in Winners? So, historically, like, data-wise, if you're on Winners' side of Grand Finals, you are more likely to win. However, if you get resetted, then that percentage flips to the other player. Because right, um, in my opinion, it's the person that got to losers is very, very like good on trying to reset the bracket. And it's all up to the uh, person winners to just stop all of momentum to just kind of like, you know, defeat all that positive energy. Right. And T3 Dome just bring, like, bring that, la that first stock of the whole set. Just a screech hall. Yet again, T3 just setting up the wall of pain right here, and Elegant still hasn't really found an answer to it. Elegant's trying to go in with these aggressive nares, but he's getting stuffed out by these forward airs. Right. So, so hard from uh, for Luigi to do anything with that, but fantastic down throw upbeat conversion. It's right. still definitely doable just because we saw in. Uh, in finals, he's able to just delete stocks if he gets a grab. And there we go. There's the grab we were talking about, and there's the up B. Definitely no. not yet. What? Why is Richter a big boy? I mean, yet again, no rage, and he was at zero. To be fair. Hey man, a lot of people say like I should have died. I was at zero. You see, you've seen people die to thwack. Oh, but gets a nice confirm off of the down B. Oh wow, just 
keeping him on the ledge with all these plungers. And so, so good right now. And again, gets hit in the opposite direction, but still manages to make it back to center stage. Wow, catches the holy water. Ooh, but doesn't get caught off of the roll. And again, not enough percent to really worry about dying to down B at the uh, bottom of the stage, basically. Exactly, Elgin just trying to throw out these down Bs to get him back into the game, back into uh, back into true neutral. But T3 Dome stuffing that out with all these items and with all these uh, whip plays. And I really like him, how he's just kind of like dancing around him and not get like not getting close enough so that T3 Dome could uh, up be out of shield. And that should be it. No, not yet. Again, he's a big boy. Big, big Yoshi. <laughs> And wow, he used the down B momentum to cross him up and go off stage so he couldn't get punished for it. And you know that would have been death if he had left if he had gone like not done that. This is looking super super hard for Elgin to get him, but that is it. Wow, finally killing at 180 something. And now he's at zero and he has rage, so this is definitely the percent for Elegant to you know make ways and then oh, again he's is dead. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Let's go. <gasps> oh no, dude, he's just stole his, his dollar, his, his little coin. Oh my god, that was the game right there, and Elegant just barely messed up the input. Again, that's a really kind of hard you know, combo to do when you play against somebody that knows how to smash GI, when you play somebody that you know has a lot of experience against you. Right. One, 158 to 52. One of the uh one stray hit from the uh from the whip actually could kill him. Alright. Or sweet spot whip, I mean. And again, all he oh, needs. Oh, he caught the holy water, so he doesn't so he doesn't have to worry about that for a while. Can you get the check chase? Right. No, nope, oh, but no. But that's... again, eventually you run into a four tail and you just die. Yeah, exactly. That was super good on T3 Dome after right after the uh forward air and stuff like that. He wasn't uh he was at a point where Elgin would try to run in or run out and stuff like that, and no matter where he ran, he was gonna either A get hit, B get put in shield stun so that he's so that he could, you know, run away more, or C just like run away and reset neutral and you know, he, that's still a losing matchup. Alright. Uh, game number two back to Smashville. Yet again. Oh wow, I just saw that just instantly tries to go for the raw run up grab. But gets uh, gets shield checked with the forward tilt. And again, it's comboed by the down B. You know, you think you can try to break through it, but you know, it ends up not working out. Oh, on top of that, Luigi's uh, projectiles is uh, significantly weaker than uh, than Richter's, just because you know you could forward air the fireball really easily. It's very, very slow compared to all these other projectiles. And on top of that, even if Luigi does hit a fireball. Doesn't really mean he gets all that much out of it. Right. Unfortunately, Elegant SDing a little bit. Maybe that was a maybe that was a misinput, but who knows? He might have lost his jump there. Right. Oh, you know he wanted the up air into up air right there. Because if he gets the up air into up air, then he might be able to combo into an up smash because of the platform. Oh, fantastic! Just raw grab right out from uh. Right oh there. my fantastic god! Fantastic tech, tech coming out from T3 Dome. Oh wow. wow, he did the he did the uh, old Smash 4 Diddy type of thing. So uh, there is a super cheesy thing where Diddy Kong would just down tilt, down tilt, down tilt, and then roll to the other side and they keep down tilting it. Right. Same thing with like Rob. I mean, I feel like that's the first time I've ever seen uh, Holy Water in a Holy Water. Oh, Ooh, but catches the jump from ledge. Nice jump, yeah. yeah. T3 Dome, really good at stopping his uh, loser's run momentum. Right. But, you know, Eats a sock from that. Luigi is still not out yet. Two grabs could mean the game. Right. Yet again, just barely shield poking him right there, but gets the grab and yet again, this won't kill because the cross comes in to save his life. Yo, that no, the red cross came in to save, <laughs> to save the D3. I mean, red life. cross. I think it's a blue cross, but I mean, like close enough. Hey man, it's they, the red cross's <laughs> cousin. Yeah, exactly. They can't reuse the Red Cross or else uh, they'll get like, sued. Yeah, they'll get sued. They'll be like, we're trying to save people's lives. All right, Smash Committee, try to save people's yeah. lives now. Yeah, we're suing you. Could okay. you imagine, like, you know, when uh, mods come out, like, they'll, like, 
edit that so that like it's a, a Red Cross outfit. That would that would actually be a really cool outfit for for Belmont. Like if you have like a Red Cross tournament and like every character has like some sort of like red outfit or like some sort of like you know helping out another organization like like uh, a, like a, the pink breast cancer yeah, awareness no? yeah breast cancer awareness would be super super cool and like you know they'll be the traditional USA versus the world and stuff like that oh yeah yeah the country flags oh my god yeah just I'm, thinking about it, think about it wants me to play PM now oh my god dude so I, I love the body community because they're able to Oh wow. oh, wow. That was just a really bold decision to go for Holy Fire right straight there. Straight up just Holy Fire in his face. Yeah. Oh, and that should be a fantastic no. up out of shield, but well, actually upbeat, not upbeat does not kill unless you're like at, like halfway into the ceiling. Oh, wow. He, he, that, he didn't even use Whip at that point. He just punched Luigi in the face. We should give him a red card. Oh, that's oh, it. Yeah. Yeah, it gets the air dodge. Yeah. And that was a good awareness on uh, T3 Dome's part to you know, realize that, yeah, Elegant's probably going to air dodge right afterwards because he's done that every time. So I'm just going to charge down smash instead. Yeah, and super, worst super case cool. scenario, if he does an air dodge, then he just falls to the ground and dies to down smash anyways, unless he double jumps. But if he double jumps, then I can just let it go early and then, like not get super hard punish. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic job from T3 Dome ending off that stock and now getting into game number three at Three, the same place. One, go. Go. Oh. Wow, just sitting back, utilizing the fireball, saying like, all right, I'm going to try to use my projectiles now. Let's see if uh, you can handle them. Right. Yet again, Elegant has just been struggling to get in on Richter right here. Yeah, Elegant's been trying to utilize all the uh, down Bs and stuff like that, but I'm not sure if it's because the uh, the invincibility frames aren't out yet, but he keeps losing even though that's supposed to be a, a winning a winning thing. He's supposed to be able to downbeat through these items. Right. I feel like it depends on the item too. Yeah, actually, like if it's like the holy water, definitely not. But if the, it's the other two, then it should be. Or like maybe even like the forward air and stuff like that. But fantastic, just raw. Full, like tomahawk jab. Oh no! Tries catching the jump from ledge, and unfortunately, because of the holy fire, that was kind of delaying that, doesn't really find it. But gets it that time, and yet again, you know, it's one of those things where like if they drop shield just for a second, it can still catch them below the ledge. Wow! Just run up and down tilting very, very aggressively. Oh, but that backward, uh, downward aerial is going to be so good. Catches him. Oh, tried catching oh. him again, and yet again, not going to find it. Gets another uh, Holy Fire, but off to go for Dash Attack instead. No, probably just a bigger hitbox. Dash Attack is just a lot more safe, kind of. It's kind of like a worse version of Down Tilt for, like, you know, getting to the other side, but it's very, very good to kind of, like, you know, weird out the opponent, I guess. A lot of players in this game actually hate multi-hits. Like, they hate Palu because, A, she does a lot of damage, but because they, you know, take away the, your game control, you know? All but fantastic, oh. just catching that uh, jump off fireball with the forward air. Right. And yet again, I feel like part of that was that you know, the whip kind of beat out the fireball and still went on along its way to find Elegant all the way off stage. Wow, just going in for the super deep edge guard and actually being the wrong way and eats a down air. Yeah. I like it, dude. Math Elegant's cool, dude. Yeah. And now here comes the big damage. Is it sit? Oh Ooh. no, it goes for the reset with the grab, and you know what? 67% damage, that's good enough for me. That's like, he, he wants to offer that so that he could get the uh, consistent down throw up B uh, chain right. very, very soon. I believe that works at around 80 ish percent. I'm not a Luigi player, so I don't know. And yet again, Elegant really needs to find this stock before he gets any worse. Just barely manages to avoid the hail of projectiles right here, but. There it is. Oh, no. Doesn't really go for it. Which is fantastic. Again, he's getting so much mileage off of these Tomahawk grabs whenever he's uh, whenever he opens a, up T3 Dome for them. Right. That and should be dead. it. Yeah. Yep. Just wait for the Shoryu, and this is definitely doable. Right. I mean, he has enough rage where he'll be connecting, but oh, goes for the up tilt instead of the up smash. It's very, very scary still. That's why I think C-Stick smash attacks, super good. Oh, there we go. Up B. 
Not going to be quite enough, but he has Rage now, so he has to worry about getting grabbed. As long as he doesn't get grabbed at zero, he should be fine. Yeah, he's, uh, Matt's, uh, I mean, Elegant's really trying to look for the grab right now, as you can see right there. And, and then T3 just yeah. knew where he wanted it and just jumped back and fared him for it. Yeah, it was super, super rough just because he knew his win condition and everybody else also knew their, like, his win condition. So they kind of just avoided all of that and just said, all right, nah. Yeah. And you know what? That was just really rough for Elegant.